But listen, our next guest is going to go very high in the draft because I think he's the best defensive player in this year's NFL draft. A two-time consensus All-American, two-time SEC Defensive Player of the Year, and a national champion. Joining us on behalf of Old Spice Swagger, hello, Will Anderson Jr. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's up? Listen, they call you the Terminator, uh, but you've never seen the Terminator, have you? You gonna throw me under the bus like that? That's, I just got so I, that's what my producers <laughs> tell me. Have you not seen it? I haven't seen it yet. I haven't seen it yeah. yet. Yeah, it sounds lame. I don't know. Whatever. It's a, <laughs> I think I think it's cool. But you don't even you don't even like the nicknames. But you are joining us on behalf of Old Spice Swagger. So tell yes. us what you're doing with them in the partnership. Yeah, so um, basically, like, you know, you can't count on people to tell you, you know, you smell bad. So Old Spice <laughs> has got me covered this week, you know, with their swagger 24-7, you know, last and fresh. And so I can have confidence this Thursday to, you know, make sure I'm smelling good and feeling good. Uh, so I won't have any, like, you know, you know, little hiccups or anything like that. So I'm excited about that. <laughs> Here's what I know. You have the speed. You have the athleticism. You have the smile. You have the <laughs> swagger with Old Spice. We love Old Spice around here. Great partnership for you. I'm so happy for you. They're incredible people over there at Old Spice with draft picks, with NFL superstars uh, partnering with them. But your, your one flaw, I'm just going to say, you're too humble. What's, what's up with that? What, why are you, it's, a, it's not a great thing. I'm not okay with it. <laughs> Why are you so humble? Um, I feel like that's just how I keep my blessings coming. You know what I'm saying? Like, I never want to, you know, forget where I come from. And, you know, you know, people do tell me that all the time, but I think just for me, it just keeps me, it keeps me grounded. It keeps me sane to know that, you know, you haven't done nothing yet. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get the big head. So that's kind of just where Ooh. I think it's more for me. I think more for me, that's just how I keep myself, you know, keep getting better, you know, each year, each day of knowing that, you know, Nothing is what you want to accomplish is done yet. So that's how I keep myself, you know, going. Will, I think you're my favorite player in this draft. I'm not even kidding. Cause I, but <laughs> you, you can play the humble card and you can play the swagger. Con uh, let me be your girl then. Let me be your, your uh, I got you. Look, look at this list. Let me just remind the world because he won't say it himself. Are you joking? 2020 national champion, two-time consensus All-American, Nagurski defensive player, Ch twice, twice, twice. Chuck Burnett, I mean, unbelievable. The Lot Trophy combo, yada, yada, yada. So I wanted to have a little fun here because you're, you're humble and you've got Old Spice swagger. So we're going to play a game called Humble Swag, like humble brag, but I'm going to say a statement and we're going to, this is an exercise, okay? We're, this is like a getting a rep in practice, my friend. Tell me why you're the best at some of the following things or why you're good at them, okay? Here we go. Okay. You are the best fisherman from your hometown of Hampton, Georgia because... Because I have patience and I can go out there and the fish, I'm just, the fish are attracted to me, you know what I'm saying? Like, they just, the, the bait I use, it's unmatched, that's why. Let's go! I love that. They're attracted to you like Desmond Ritter getting sacked and uh, Kyle Trask getting trucked by you. Yeah, and I, I feel <laughs> you on that. They're, they're just like little fish swimming out there on the boat. You're patient and you knock them down. Okay, I hear you grew up with five sisters and I also yes. heard that they weren't that easy on you which I love tell me why you're the best little br little brother ever because I made their jobs ten times easier what how because I ain't getting that much trouble well no you know I'll take that back you want to tell me yeah you want no I tell you this why are you the best big brother <laughs> I'm the best little brother because I always looked out for them and I never snitched on any of them you never snitch. A, I want you on my, that's the kind of guy you want in the locker room NFL teams. You're moving <laughs> up. You're shooting up the draft boards. Humble swag here. Uh, you will be the best dressed at the NFL draft because? Because I'm me. I don't got to do nothing extra. And it's, our, it's, not, it's, not, it's not on me, it's in me. Yeah, and it's on you like the freshness from the Old Spice swagger you're going to be wearing, right? Mm hmm That's right. You will be the best mm -hmm. teammate on your new team because? I hold myself accountable, but I also hold other people accountable as well. Oh my gosh, you're like, you're just gonna take over the NFL, I can't wait. Tell me really, you are the best pass rusher in this NFL draft, why? I have a relentless motor, and uh, I have a relentless motor. I love the game of football, and I would do anything to get to the quarterback, whatever it takes. I think you should go right to that NFC South where Trask and Desmond are, Desmond are like, they're, they're posted up there. You got to get you to the South to help guys out. Listen, you went, uh, you went to Texas. You had meetings. How did they go? It went great. The staff was great. Uh, the facility was great. The people were great. The players were cool. Um, I had a really good time there. And the way they want to use me is, um, is special. How do they want to use you? 
just a non-tech, you know, off the edge, rushing to go to get the quarterback. Yeah, Ryan, did you, did you get to sit with him? Yeah, of course. That's what, what, stuck, what stuck out about him? I hear so much about him. He's amazing. Yeah, he is. I think uh, just the mindset he has, you know, he's a Bama guy, so it was kind of just, you know, easy to, you know, you know, to relate to some of the stuff that he was saying, but it was cool, laid back, you know what I'm saying? He's going to do something really special there. He's going to, well, hopefully, maybe with you at number two overall, I would certainly like to see it. Okay, so you haven't seen Terminator. You know what I wanted to talk about that, that uh, I want everybody to make sure that they know? I gave all those lists of accomplishments, and that's all great, and the NFL and your football career is amazing, but you got a degree, and that's big, in communications, and it didn't, took me five years to get a degree, took you three years, and, and you played sp this insane sport at the highest level. Uh, why was getting your degree before you left Bama so important to you? Yeah, so my mom, she doesn't play, and I think that's one of the biggest things she talked about when I earlier in the road. She was like, you're going to get that degree. Like, you're not coming early for no reason. But um, for me, that's one of the biggest things I just want to do for her and also for myself. But I know how much it meant to her to, you know, to have, you know, her last son to graduate in college in three years and be able to obtain, like, football and everything like that. So really, I was really just doing it, you know, not only for me, but for my mom to make her, you know, proud and know that her last um, her last child is graduated from college. And her last child, the young baby boy, has that Old Spice swagger. And you cemented your handprints. You are a legend at Bama, and I cannot wait to see your chapter in the NFL. It's nice to meet you. Yes, you're my favorite player in this NFL chapter. Thank you. I appreciate you're it. You're welcome. Look at that smile. We got it. We, Old Spice picked the right one. He is him, everybody. Goodbye. We'll see you tomorrow.